Whether you are on your visit to Prim on the main quest line to kill the escaped convicts that have locked up Deputy Beagle, or you are visiting Prim on the Repair Eddie quest because you believe Eddie is the best companion as he is beyond useful with the Lonesome Road DLC upgrades, and he, he takes up a dog slot meaning you can have other companions as well as him. And he also increases character perception and can repair weapons, which is just OP. You will end up making your way into the Bison Steve Hotel. Inside the hotel, for the avid and curious player, you will find a unique and rare 357 revolver by the name of Lucky. As you can see, the revolver sports a completely new reskin compared to the other 357 revolvers, and it has the DPS and criticals to match. It has a 30 critical damage and a DPS of 82.5, only second to the silenced 22 pistol and tied with the Easter egg weapon, that gun, which was a callback to the original 1982 Blade Runner movie. What I love about that gun, as well as Lucky the Unique Revolver, is that these are relatively mid-game weapons that can be found very early on in-game. Especially if one makes a beeline straight from Good Springs to Novak at the beginning of the game, and then to Prim. Even though, admittedly, Lucky the Unique 357 is less valuable than the Silence 22 and that gun found in Novak. I really wish that it wasn't. It is one of the only guns with such a unique skin and one of the only guns with its actual name engraved into the gun itself. That gun is admittedly being more easier to obtain as it is restricted by a 25 lock picking skill or greater whereas the 357 Magnum Lucky is hidden in the floor safe of a 75 skill lock picking safe or greater. To be fair, simply comparing the DPS of each weapon does not really tell the whole story as the reload time frames are not actually counted into the damage per second, and also, arguably, Lucky the unique six shooter is dwarfed by the unnamed 44 Magnum that can be found a little bit later in game, mm. and objectively by the mysterious Magnum, a unique 44 Magnum that can be found around mid game, and assuredly dwarfed by the Ranger Sequoia, a late game revolver. That being said, I don't know if that's what this revolver was supposed to be. I think the developers wanted to throw in a unique named weapon, even if it would be dwarfed by the same weapons in its class later on in game. Hey it is just to give the player exposure to what a unique weapon is, and how it is operated differently in game than its unnamed variant. By far, the biggest drawback of Lucky the Unique Named Six Shooter is that there is no speed loader integrated into the character animation for the reloading sequence. And I'm actually not entirely sure why, as many other revolvers in the game have a speed loader integrated into the reloading animation. In fact, not only does the Mysterious Magnum, the unique named variant of the 44 Magnum, have a speed loader, the vanilla base 44 Magnum has a speed loader integrated into its reloading animation. That is really the most damning factor of the handgun. It really is just an early in-game weapon that will be subbed for a better weapon later on in-game. But that being said, I always go out of my way to go and get the unique named revolver Lucky, and I think it's just because of that unique skin. The developers really went out of their way to make this gun something to look at, and every time I play through New Vegas, I love to look at it. And hey, if you liked any of the content here, think about giving my new YouTube channel, VB Vlogs and Gaming, a subscription, or maybe give this video a like. I am going to try to separate my YouTube content from finance and gaming related content, however, I'm still going to be posting my vending machine collections on my VB Vlogs and gaming channel, 
just to give a much more intrapersonal look on how I'm self-employed and how I get to sit at home all day and you know go over the experience with you guys as it is a new and foreign experience to me as well if I'm being honest it can at least be said it has assuredly given me more time to produce and invest in my YouTube channel and I hope that you guys will go on this experience with me I will continue to produce incredible content and if you could give me some feedback in the comments it means a lot and I thank you all for watching.